to go to Vancouver, Canada. I have one little um, short layover and that's it um, in Seattle. And I'm gonna be in Vancouver for about four days. I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have fun and see what happens. Our boarding process will begin in about five minutes. Just a few reminders, if you're traveling with carry-on items today, So the entrance of the hotel is a little bit um, different. You actually have to go downstairs to check in, and then when you enter on West Georgia Street, um, you enter into the restaurant and the lounge, which is Moat 30, uh, 32. Um, this Trump Hotel, I will be honest, I've been to many, many Trump Hotels. This one was not my favorite, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I'll show you guys more in the next clip. Hi guys, so I'm here at the Trump International Hotel in Vancouver and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a room tour. So, um, but this is just the, um, the guest bathroom here. And then you come out here, the shades go up all the way and you can close the drapes if you want. This is just the living area. They have um, an outdoor area out there, a dining room. Um, this is just a little Nespresso maker and then when you come down here they have like little snacks like this is I know this is a Canadian snack the almonds and then this cocktail and I know this is Canadian too this English Bay these cookies so they have some Canadian stuff down there show you guys the outdoor seating area it's so lovely and I just wanted to show you guys so you come outside it's whisper quiet and then you open the door and there's all this like traffic and craziness but look at this you have your own little bench to go sit down in so you have that really lovely view of West Georgia Street this is the master bedroom they already brought my luggage in but Gorgeous bed. And then this is the master bathroom. Let me turn you guys around. Look at this bathtub. Isn't that awesome? Okay, sorry guys, I already went through these, but they give you um, like a little bath bomb to use in the bathtub. This is such a cute idea because Every single time that I go to a hotel room and it has like this awesome bathtub, I always want a bath bomb. So they actually give you one and it smells so good. It smells like eucalyptus. And then they give you some bath salts and also some like bath gel. I don't know, <laughs> but they give you all of this stuff. And then they have a separate area for the loo. Okay guys. So I'm here, I'm relaxing at the hotel room because I am tired AF. I drove two hours all the way to Las Vegas from Arizona. I got on one plane, had an hour long layover, got on another plane, and then I took um, the Canada line, which is like a tram all the way to um, Vancouver City Center. And then I walked like nine minutes to um, the Trump Hotel. 
which maybe doesn't sound like a lot to you if you're like a really active person, but I'm too fat for this and I can't do it. And, um, I'm just really tired, but anyway, so I'm laying down, but I wanted to go over some facts about Vancouver with you. If you're coming here, if you're traveling here, if you know somebody here, like you'll just know about Vancouver, it'll be great. First of all, um, Asian population in Vancouver, they have, I believe I could be wrong. I think it's up to 25%. That is the largest Asian population in one city in all of North America. So what that means is there's a lot of Asian cuisine um, and there's all kinds of festivals. You can get the ramen from Japan. You can get like tofu from Korea. You can get literally like any kind of Asian food. They just have Asian everything here. Okay, sorry. Changed into a Trump robe. So much more comfortable. If you go east, um, I have heard that it's it gets really, really, really bad. I don't know, I haven't been there, <laughs> um, but if I run into a place there, if I end up going there, um, I'll videotape it for you guys so you guys can have some footage. Uh, another thing that I wanna mention is the US USD just passed CAD. So the United States dollar is, um, it's more valuable than the Canadian dollar at the moment. One Canadian dollar is worth 75 um, cents in the United States. So. Um, if something is priced at $8, all you have to do is multiply it by um, 75% or you just do uh, three-fourths and that's the price in USD. But for a long time, um, the Canadian dollar was worth more than the US dollar, so it was actually more expensive for Americans to go um, vacation or go visit Canada, um, but now it's actually cheaper, so that's awesome. So um, anyway, I'm traveling by myself, but I was sitting next to a woman on an airplane and she started asking me questions. Where are you from? Why are you here? And she kept asking me where I was staying. Um, and I, I was trying to kind of just like avoid the question. I kept saying, oh, I'm staying on West Georgia Street. She kept going, oh, where are you staying? Are you staying in an Airbnb? Uh, what hotel are you staying at? And I said, oh, you know, I'm just staying on the west side because I didn't want to tell her what hotel I was staying at because she was, you could you could tell by her dress and her, just who she was, that she was um, very anti-Trump. So I finally told her because she wouldn't stop asking and she went completely ballistic. Um, and again, sorry if you're a liberal, but th that's really not appropriate to do to a stranger on an airplane. Like, you know, go, oh my God, why are you staying there? Ooh, oh my God, I'm trying not to throw up. Like this is literally what she was saying to me on an airplane and I didn't even want to talk to her. All right, it's the next day. Good morning, you guys. And I am having breakfast. They did room service. I had some eggs Benedict over there with some salmon, but I already ate it. And then um, this is just a little bit of caviar for breakfast that they serve, they serve it on a little spoon like that and they put the little bellinis and the egg with it and it is so good. And today, I'm gonna go to the spa and have afternoon tea and a facial. And I am so excited to bring you guys along with me. This is the first time I've ever been to a spa that has afternoon tea included in one of their packages. Okay guys, I can't lie to you, Tim Hortons was not that good, but the Tim bits were pretty good, just the regular donut holes. Um, this is the pool area, this is where they want you to have the afternoon tea. I was not a personal fan of this, but it was okay. Okay guys, so I have um, afternoon tea, and this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna go through the items with you. So we have, and these are the clotted creams that come with it. And then we also have a savory selection smoked chicken tea sandwich. I'm guessing that's that. Um, pretzel and cheese broomstick, which is that one. And then Mrs. Sprout's fried pastry. They have steak and Guinness pie. And then when you go up to the top, they have um, sweet desserts. Deathly Hallows something cake. <laughs> I'm guessing that's that one. And then Harry's favorite uh, treacle tart. Go over um, an ube mousse with mariscopa whipped cream. Magic wand um, chocolate covered stick. So cute. Okay guys, so I just got done with my facial and with afternoon tea at 
the Ivanka Trump Spa, or the Ivanka Trump Spa, however you say it. And now I am headed to Stanley Park um, to go check out what's over there. So, see you then. I want to show you guys some stuff that I got at Gastown and if you don't know what Gastown is in Vancouver it's like a hip little place with a bunch of pubs and shops and um, it has a lot of souvenir blah, 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 souvenir stores um, and just tons and tons of tourists so if you're a tourist and you're looking to go to another touristy place that is the place to go and there's so many places to eat it's such an amazing place like it's just so much fun one thing that I got there was just this smoked salmon. I know this looks kind of weird, but you don't refrigerate it. So I was really confused like if it was dried or like how they, um, how they preserve it without refrigerating it. So I had to get some and try it. And then I got some, um, I got a bin there cup with just the Canada from Starbucks. I got one of these. These are the best socks ever. These ones. Let me show you the name of them. Okay. It's this little ABS. I don't even know I, I found some in um, Finland one time and you can't order them in the United States. So if you ever find these and you're in another country, like make sure to get a pair because they're literally the coziest, like best socks ever. They're so amazing. Um, and I had to get some maple syrup from Canada because I mean, when in Rome, you know? So this is the cutest thing ever. I don't think I'm actually gonna use it. I think I'm just gonna have it like as a decoration or something in my house, but look at this. Isn't that adorable? And then I also got some maple syrup hot chocolate mix. I thought this was just gonna be like really good and it's really like cold in Vancouver. So like what's more perfect than like hot chocolate? <laughs> and then I just got a t-shirt, a Vancouver t-shirt. And I think that's it. You guys, my shirt. Got maple leaf and then Vancouver, Canada. Oh, and also the price tag. Don't mind me. Um, but no, I, I was getting like blisters on my feet around the end. It was getting really bad. But if you guys are ever in Vancouver, like, oh my gosh, I'd so highly recommend Stanley Park. If you want to like see, you know, like, um, the temperate climate and the foresty areas, they had like green or I'm sorry, not green trees. They, they had, um, they had red, like in the trees, like red leaves. It was so gorgeous. And I have, um, pictures of it that I'll add, but um, it was just so amazing. Um, the only thing that I would just caution people on is um, Vancouver is so full of, of homeless people, sadly. And a lot of them aren't even, um, I don't want to say mentally ill, like in a negative way, but um, that's one of the reasons why people become homeless is because they're mentally ill. Um, these people aren't. They're just regular people, but they... Um, there's not a lot of jobs here. And then I saw protesters too. Okay guys, so I just made a 7-Eleven run here in Vancouver, Canada. Um, 
I got all kinds of snacks. One thing that I got, super Canadian. If you're in Canada, you have to get ketchup chips. <laughs> this is like the most popular native snack to um, Canada. They come out like this. They're so good. These are so good. A plus Canada, that is so delicious. Okay, but that's not all I got. I also got, um, this is a can Canadian brand too. It's called um, Maynard. Sorry, I like broke some of it off, but Maynard. Um, they make a bunch of different kinds of um, candy. I just got like these little berry things that have like juice inside of them or like sugar, I guess. They're like little, little things. And then when you chew it, it has like, um, it's like a gusher, like it has like stuff inside. Also, ketchup, Pringles. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish we had these in the United States. They're so freaking good, like so delicious. Those are so good. Um, I don't know if we have these in the United States or not, but these are amazing. They're holiday um, flavored Red Bolts, the winter edition, but it's a holiday spice flavor. Yeah, um, like pumpkin spice latte mixed with Red Bull. I know that doesn't sound good, but I'm telling you guys, this is literally like, this is the best Red Bull I've ever had. Okay guys, um, today we're going to the Vancouver Art Museum and then um, I'm gonna head to the Richmond Night Market, which is, um, it starts at 7 p.m. So it has tons and tons of just Asian cuisine from all around the world. Okay guys, I am in Vancouver and as you can see, it was pouring rain. <laughs> um, but I am going to the Art Museum right now this is what it looks like. So when you enter the museum, the very first artwork that you come in contact with is Emily Carr's artwork. Um, and Emily Carr is a very important uh, member of the Vancouver Society. She um, comes from a very wealthy family. They donated lots and lots of money to museums. She also has um, the Emily Carr uh, University of Art in Vancouver named after her. So this is some of... Uh, her work and that's why you come into contact with it very first thing uh, when you enter the museum. So um, this is a temporary display that's um, in the Vancouver Art Museum. It's called Extreme Beauty by Vicki Alexander. She's um, taken these photographs of Christy Brinkley and Elvis Presley and some other celebrities um, and put them together in a strategic way to um, create the artwork that you see. So TWG tea is actually from Singapore. They um, specialize in an Eastern style afternoon tea, meaning they don't have um, two scones, clotted cream, uh, finger sandwiches, and desserts typically seen in the Western afternoon tea. Um, I personally prefer the Western style, but it's really just up to you. Um, as you can see, these items are um, a lot more Eastern um, inspired, so it's really just up to your preference. <laughs> to get here too if you guys come here like you have to get off at bridgeport which is like on the subway station it's very difficult to find you have to get on this road it's not the easiest place to go to i'm just saying if i were to come back here i would rent a car i made a mistake i should have rented a car i wasn't thinking So when you first enter the night market, you see lots and lots and lots of um, vendors selling all kinds of items from eye contacts to cell phone cases, um, really just almost anything and everything. I personally didn't spend much time in the markets. Um, I didn't buy anything just because the salespeople are pretty aggressive. Um, and that kind of, I don't know, I kind of felt uncomfortable like 
when somebody's trying to sell me something and I don't have time to really look at it. So um, I really gravitated towards the food and uh, it seemed like everybody else was doing the same thing. So um, the food is really the center point of this event. And as you can see, they have everything. I mean, they just had every kind of um, Asian cuisine that you could ever find. Very, very um, convenient to have all of them in one location, especially if you're a big fan of Asian food. So that was really um, fantastic as well. I have to find a place to eat this, you guys. Look at this cute little duck. Look, it's jiggly too. Oh, and that hat. Can't wait to eat this. Oh, it's like pineapple. It's a pineapple flavored duck. It's okay, but I don't really like it. But it's cute and it's jiggly, so. Is my last day here in Vancouver and I was too tired to film the rest of the video from um, the night market yesterday. I got back to the hotel, passed out, was way too tired. I got so much more food though. I wanted to share it with you guys. I wanted to show you guys but some of the stuff that I got. This is called, um, oh I think it's called Dragons. It's called Dragon something. I'll, I'll put a picture of it. The one but they're strawberry and just the original flavor of whatever this candy is um, but this is kind of what they look like and when they were making them I don't know if you can see all these little hairs essentially it's kind of like cotton candy when they make it like these little hairs kind of look like that and then there's um, there's like peanut butter tasting stuff on the inside mmm it has peanuts on the inside peanuts not the other. Um, <laughs> this is so good though. It tastes like there's not a lot of sugar in it. I know there is because I was watching the makeup, but it doesn't taste like overly sugary. It just kind of tastes like, it tastes like peanut butter and like, this is gonna sound weird, but like a little bit of wasabi, but I know there's not wasabi in this, but something in it like kind of gives it a little bit of a kick. It's really good though. And I'll upload the name of it. I wish I could remember, but this is really, really delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, I shouldn't have eaten so much yesterday. Literally, I'm so glad I wore a tight pair of pants. I wore like pleather pants. I'm so glad I did. I wore these ones. I'm wearing the same ones today. But I'm so glad that I didn't wear loose pants because I literally, I, I would have gained like 10 pounds. It was, there was so much food there. It was just food on top of food, on top of more food. But this one's strawberry. Hmm. These are so good. It's like cotton candy rolled around like peanuts, like peanut butter. Mmm. Mm hmm. These are really good. That's like an eight or a nine. That's a pretty good dessert. This was super weird. 
I don't know what this was called. I'm gonna upload a picture so you guys can get the, the image of it. This was not very good. They pretty much put fried noodles in between. So I don't know if you can see it, but this is like a, this is kind of like a pancake. And then inside they put cabbage. And then this is like a piece of like ham or bacon or something. This was, this was not, this was a fail though. <laughs> like everybody was in line to get these. Everybody wanted these. So I was like, oh, this is gonna be so great. I'm gonna have to try it. I was not a fan. I'm not gonna eat this. That's why I'm like digging through it just to show you guys. I'm, I I hate to dislike something from somebody's culture. That's like everybody else likes, but this was like a major fail for me. I haven't even tried these yet because I, I couldn't eat anymore, but I did want to get them because here in Vancouver, like I want to try everything. Um, but I haven't tried them yet because I was so full last night and I just couldn't eat anymore. This is what they look like. Chicken skins with um, cheese on them. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm kinda grossed out by this. See like, God, I don't wanna gross you guys out, but you can see like little feathers. I actually see the skin, like do you see the, I'm so sorry, if this is like really graphic for you, I'm sorry if you have a weak stomach. They gave me like a whole bag of them and they're greasy and, but I am gonna try it because I mean, I'm here and you know, YOLO. You guys, I'm so sorry. If you like these, like if this is a big deal for you, I'm sorry. I know um, like my dog would love these, like she would chew on them and she would really like them. Um, and they're something that a dog can eat other than the cheese if you got original ones. Um, but yeah, no, the chicken skin for me, that's not a, I don't know. I'm just not like, I'm not really. All right, you guys, I got this boba tea. Got it from a place called the Boba Tea Spot. And this is brown sugar with boba you guys and i think the boba is homemade it doesn't look perfectly um circular Ooh. oh my god look at all that Ooh. I'm gonna be part of the diabetes community soon, but that's okay. Um, today, I'm going to Granville Island Market. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I have my phone completely charged. Yesterday, it ran out of battery. I had to get home by myself. Luckily, I found my hotel, but <laughs> my phone is charged. I'm gonna be okay. Going to Granville Island. So excited to bring you guys along with me. They have so much cool stuff there. I can't wait to show you guys.
fruits they have, you guys. Look at these grapes. They have tiny little ones. And then these are witch finger grapes. Look at these, you guys. So cool. Granola. Okay, guys, I got some granola. They made me buy a pound of it at Stewart's for all my baked goods. They had all kinds of other stuff. I really just wanted one piece, but they wanted me to buy an entire pound for $6 Canadian. So I did. They're witch finger grapes. They're actually grown in California, but they're very popular in Canada due to the large uh, vegetarian and vegan population there. And then I wanted to put in a sign of the lobster man because you can get a $15 lobster if you go there. Okay, guys, so this is um, pretty much the end of my trip. I had so much fun going through Vancouver. It was just so magical. I loved it so much. Um, but 
I was really, really tired once I got to that airport. I ended up waiting in the airport for five hours for my flight, and um, I, I was pretty tired by the end of this, as you'll see in this next clip. You know the drill, subscribe and slam that like button. If you have any comments, let me know down below.